This diagram illustrates the human digestive system, also known as the gastrointestinal GI tract. It shows the primary organs involved in the digestion and absorption of food and the elimination of waste. Here's a breakdown of the labeled parts and their general roles. Mouth, the starting point of the digestive system. Here, food is chewed, mechanical digestion, and mixed with saliva. Chemical digestion begins with enzymes like amylase. Esophagus, a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. It transports food through peristalsis, wave-like muscle contractions. Stomach, a J-shaped organ where food is mixed with gastric juices, containing acid and enzymes like pepsin, to continue chemical and mechanical digestion. Small intestine, a long coiled tube where most chemical digestion and nutrient absorption occur. It's divided into three parts, the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Though not individually labeled, this entire structure is the small intestine. Large intestine, a wider tube that follows the small intestine. Its primary functions are to absorb water and electrolytes from indigestible food matter and to form feces. It includes cecum, a pouch connected to the junction of the small and large intestines. Appendix, a small finger-like projection extending from the cecum, whose exact function is not fully understood, but it's believed to have some immune function. Colon, the main part of the large intestine further divided into ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon, not individually labeled, but the main body of the large intestine. Rectum, the final section of the large intestine, which stores feces before elimination. Anus, the external opening at the end of the digestive tract, through which feces are expelled from the body. In summary, the diagram provides a clear anatomical overview of the main organs of the digestive system, showing the pathway food takes from ingestion to elimination. This diagram illustrates the human respiratory system, which is responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. Here's an explanation of each labeled part. Nasal cavity. This is the primary entry point for air into the respiratory system. It warms, moistens, and filters the inhaled air before it proceeds further. Pharynx. Often called the throat, the pharynx is a muscular tube that serves as a passageway for both air from the nasal cavity and food from the mouth. Larynx, commonly known as the voice box, the larynx contains the vocal cords and is crucial for sound production. It also prevents food from entering the trachea. Trachea, also known as the windpipe, the trachea is a strong cartilaginous tube that extends from the larynx and branches into the bronchi. It provides a clear airway for air to reach the lungs. Bronchi. The trachea divides into two main bronchi, plural of bronchus, one leading to each lung. 
these tubes continue to branch into smaller and smaller passages within the lungs. Lungs. These are the primary organs of respiration, located in the chest cavity. They are responsible for the exchange of gases between the air and the blood. The diagram shows two lungs. Bronchioles. These are tiny, fine branches that extend from the bronchi within the lungs. They are even smaller in diameter than the bronchi and led directly to the alveoli. Alveoli. These are microscopic air sacs located at the end of the bronchioles. They are surrounded by capillaries and are the actual sites where oxygen from inhaled air diffuses into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses into the air to be exhaled. Diaphragm. This is a large, dome-shaped muscle located at the base of the chest cavity, beneath the lungs. It plays a vital role in breathing. When the diaphragm contracts, it flattens, increasing the volume of the chest cavity and drawing air into the lungs. When it relaxes, it moves upward, reducing the volume and pushing air out of the lungs. In summary, air enters through the nasal cavity passes through the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles, eventually reaching the alveoli where gas exchange occurs. The diaphragm assists in the mechanics of breathing.